Hi everybody, my name's Ollie. Today we are going to be building a little dice tray for these beautiful little things. Got these from Valkyrie RPG. I've been playing with these for a couple of weeks now. I don't know how well you can see that, but they are absolutely gorgeous. I've been told a number of times by my fellow players how lovely these dice are. And today I'm going to make a little tray for them to sit in. So they're not just out there on the table, they've got their own little home. And uh, it's going to be a very simple build. I'm using two bits of wood. They're off cuts from uh, another project I've been working on. These are four inch squares. And the general idea is we're going to take these two going to use this hole cutter to put a nice neat hole in the middle of that, which funnily enough these will fit in there quite nicely, about the right size, it should work really nice. Let's talk about the dice for a second. These are really cool, not only do they look amazing, it's not your standard 7 set, but what Valkyrie RPG have started doing is they chuck in an extra d20, so you've got the two d20s for rolling your advantage and disadvantage, which is great, um, and then you've also got three extra d4s which is great for if you're rolling your damage and things like that especially if you like playing rogues which I do rogues are fantastic characters to play and having those extra d6s means that you can keep just have the one set take your game and it works really nicely all right cool right let's get on with the build first thing that we need to do with this bit of wood is actually I'm looking at those two I think I'm going to use a slightly thinner piece at the top uh, but the first thing we need to do find our center point because as you can see with this cutting disc it's not much smaller than the size of the bit of wood we're cutting into so it's going to be really important that we cut right into the middle that's an 86 millimeter hole cutting bit we want to make sure that's going dead center now how do you do that well first of all we take our diagonals so what we're going to do we're going to go from corner to corner we're going to draw another line corner to corner here. Okay, guys, now we've found our centre point. We're going to just drill a nice pilot hole straight down the middle of there. When we drill our hole with our uh, hole cutting bit, that's going to go bang down the middle, okay? So the pilot hole is always very important. Okay, okay pilot hole cut. Now we're ready to do the hole cutting piece. Let's go through the middle of that should look banging. Through the middle there it's not perfect the two sides didn't quite line up if you're wondering why I decided to cut from one side and then the other it's because that is actually a little bit thicker than the whole cutter would go so that's one of the reasons why the part that went all the way through the middle so I could cut from one side and then back in the other side in the same place I have remembered why these are off cuts and I haven't used them so far there's actually just a little bit I don't know if you can see that there just where the Wood's just a little bit knackered, a little bit rotten, but I'm thinking I'm going to leave it because I think I might try and use that into the design a little bit. It's quite thin there, I'm going to have to be a bit careful of that when we're sanding. All in all, that's pretty good. So now, base piece, I'm going to glue those together, like that, and then I'm going to sand it all back and hopefully it's going to look pretty cool. Can't wait. Um, I'm going to just sand the top of this off because that's still sort of natural edge. I say natural edge, it's probably not natural edge, but it's, it needs a bit of attention before I glue that to it so they're nice and flat together and we don't have any gaps. So once I sand it back a bit, it'll be a nice solid connection there. Right, so got these two bits sanded down. I just hand sanded this one to the 40 grit. That one was with a 50 grit on the uh, detail sander. Uh, so I'm going to glue this, I'm going to clamp it down, I'm going to leave it overnight. We'll have a look at it um, in the morning. 
Yeah, and we'll get a little bit of sandpaper in here just to sort out that little edge as well. Thinking about it, I might do that before I glue it. Yeah, I'll do that before I glue it. and while the kettle boils I just thought I'd have a chat with you guys in terms of the kit that you need you need dice you need paper you need pencil but there's little these little fun things like dice trays like dice tower like DM screens I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make one of them at some point but these things I think really make the experience for you they can really help you enjoy your uh, your experience and when you've got dice as gorgeous as these ones why not give them a beautiful place to sit? So I've been playing with these dice for a couple of weeks now. Uh, not, not with a D&D game, but with a, a game called Deus Vault. This is Zuki, by the way. Hey, hi, Zuki. It's a percentile dice system. It's not a D20 system, so that takes a little bit of getting used to. It's, it's great fun. Our DM really gets into it. He's a very clever man, and sometimes trying to work out how he's thinking can make life quite interesting and he certainly has a way of pushing my buttons and uh, occasionally winding me up a little bit <laughs> but I've gone off topic a little bit these these dice are amazing they're really pretty we've got like these lovely greens and uh, like purpley pinks that are sort of going through like clear dice and they're so pretty let's have somewhere really special let's put this really special set of dice and I think I'll be playing with them for a long, long time. Check out Valkyrie RPG. I check out their website any time that I stop and grab myself a coffee. Speaking of which... Oh, too hot. I'll see you in the morning to check out that um, dice train. So I've taken out the clamps and just sort of broken off that edge a little bit where the wood was sort of rotting away a bit there. And I reckon... I reckon, where's my focus gone? There we go. I reckon that hopefully this nice sort of wonky edge should look pretty cool once we get rid of all the um, rubbish on it and uh, have it all sanded up and look like, make it look like it's meant to be like that. Sanded that back down to a 400 grit on that so it's got a nice smooth finish. It's still a little bit rough on the inside because I can get all the sandpaper in there. Um, but it's feeling pretty good, feeling nice and smooth. So and I'm just going to uh, put some more treatment on there. I'm going to oil it with some uh, teak oil. That's my favourite oil at the moment. Now you know what to get me for my birthday. Yeah, so we're going to slap some of that on, get it look looking nice and good. And then we'll probably put some polish on after it, afterwards as well just to get it looking really, really nice. But that's gonna be a really nice place to put some dice, I think. Okay guys, it's been a couple of days since I put on the teak oil. Um, it's come up quite nice, there's a bit of dust on it, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. Um, although in, in that time, I've changed my mind. This is looking all right, but I think it could look better. I'm not a fan of being able to see this join, so I've got a bit of a plan with that. And I'm also quite excited to have a play with my router. And uh, I'm gonna take this bit here, and we're just gonna cut away the edge, get it nice and neat. And I think having nice, neat edges on here is going to make this lovely shaped top edge just look even better. So yeah, I think that'll look pretty cool.
project is turning out to be a little bit more complicated than I thought. What you've just seen me do <laughs> is uh, I routed out uh, down where the seams were and then I melted in some like crayons down the side. I saw it in a YouTube video, it looked pretty cool. But the, when I saw it in the YouTube video before, they were just doing it on a table, which means they only had one surface to do. They could melt it all down, it would just flow into it. But because I was doing four different sides, it started running down into the other sections, which wasn't ideal. It meant that you had little gaps on the end. Um, I think this wouldn't matter too much because I was going to uh, round off the edges, uh, like you saw a minute ago. But with a bit of sanding and a bit of time and effort, putting some of the white spirit on it just to clean it up a bit, it's starting to get there. It's starting to look, starting to look a lot better than it did. And it's just going to look a little bit rough and ready. It was supposed to be a little project just to do, and it's turned into this slightly annoying thing that I'm, I'm doing. But get in there and then give it a polish, hoping it's going to look pretty good. One of the reasons I was struggling with those uh, crayons in getting them into that groove on the side of the uh, dice mount um, was that I was doing it in my conservatory, which is where my workshop is. It, it's a really hot day today, like really hot, and it just wasn't setting. So I took, took it all into the kitchen, as you saw, and then once I'd melted it, I chucked it in the fridge for half an hour, and that solidified it right up, and it made it a lot easier to chisel and sand down and get a nice flat finish. Hopefully it will look pretty swish. Okay guys, so I'm about done with this uh, dice, dish, plinth, tray. I think it's come up okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I've had a few issues along the way. Putting in the uh, crayons along the edge here was a bit... It's quite difficult actually to make sure it's nice and flush to the uh, wood. But I think it's come up okay. It's, it's not quite flush, but it looks pretty cool. It's, it's polished up quite nicely. It's nice and smooth. I really like this natural edge, I think that's pretty cool. And it's a perfect little place to put, put your dice. Hang on. Go. There's two reasons I went for the orange and green here rather than trying to match the green and pinks in here. Partly because I wanted it to be a little bit different, I didn't want it to match the dice exactly. So obviously I'm going to put other dice in here as well. But also, those are the crayons I can get my hands on. <laughs> anyway, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think, pop it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Cheers. Bye.